Welcome to another banging episode of Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's that chick angel. And you gotta buckle banger, up, get your balls banger, and ovaries banger, ready banger. for another balls banger and ovaries. offer. Hold on. 2020, Hold on. the Hold on. hottest Hold on. podcast on the go over balls and ovaries. Smash that banger, like button. Banger. Smash that subscribe nah. button. But notification gang, banger. shout out to the Patreon banger. who was watching live. What's you can life? join us at KevOnStageStudios.com. Hey. Hello, Angel. Hello, Kev. Hello, Nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started, quick announcements. Two quick announcements. Number one, Keep Your Distance Comedy is this Friday. Another Friday. smashing show. Stage crew who is watching this live, remember the code for you is in the Patreon. You always get your tickets for $10. Mm-hmm. The rest of you, $12 with the promo code Kev. We got another amazing show. Uh, this Friday, get your tickets now. Don't forget. Also, we've instituted a 48-hour replay link. So if you can't watch on Saturday, you can watch all the way to Sunday at uh, midnight Pacific. Wait. So it's 3 in the morning. Eastern. So Monday morning. To Sunday night. So 11.59. No. 11.59 LA time, the link dies. Sunday. Yep. Okay. I thought it was Sunday morning. I confused myself. No, no. I always get confused. That's okay. why when I be flying red eyes, I always be double checking because yep. the days be throwing me off. 11.59 p.m. For only what? $10 or, more. Or, I didn't, or I didn't 12 with uh, You got to pay $10 10. more if you want that $10 $10 more if you want to. Uh, it don't but, just automatically happen. You got to pay that yeah, money. Yeah, you got to pay more. But Sage Crew, the $5 still applies. Um, the three dollars still applies, so it could be twenty two dollars. Mm-hmm. And also another quick announcement: I won an argument with my wife hey, with oh. the help of MC Hammer. Oh, I uh, we were arguing about mm-hmm. MC Hammer having a bigger moment than Michael Jackson. Mm. Melissa was arguing that MC Hammer had a moment early mm-hmm. in the nineties mm-hmm. where he was a bigger star than Michael Jackson. Mm. We posted it on the internet to get the people <laughs> to weigh in. People were already saying me. Some people understood what Melissa was saying. And then after a couple hours, MC Hammer himself pulled up in the comments mm-hmm. and was like, nobody had a bigger moment than Michael Jackson. And I was like, I have finally won an argument. No, you still lost. No, I won. Mm-mm. MC the Hammer <laughs> it was jumped like, in. <laughs> he said, I Did you see spoke. the last commercial he did? No. See his last commercial. And you'll see. He doesn't always know what he's talking about. <laughs> I that see was what Melissa check. was saying. Melissa was saying, well, Melissa forgot. Here's her cardinal mistake. You know what? She forgot how big of a st- international star Michael Jackson was. Okay, that is the truth. If she would have said, hey, in 1990, for seven, seven seconds, MC Hammer was... Quick vine. <laughs> a quick vine of a time. I probably still wouldn't agree with her. It would have been the stronger argument if she yeah. said U.S. only. Yeah, now, there we go. dangerous... Coming out, yes. Between because Hammer had Hammer don't hurt him in ninety mm-hmm. and uh, too legit to quit in ninety one. Mm-hmm. So too that that period he was on fire. Yes, U.S. only, but then still no. Like we were doing his da- his songs for our oh dance routines gosh. for the school dance club that I was on. We were too legit, Ooh, too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah, we were doing all that. We were not dancing to Michael Jackson at the time. He was having more of an impact in the music industry, in the black community at that specific moment than maybe the songs. Was Michael Jackson even, what songs was he dropping right he in that in time? The, he was in the studio recording the Dangerous album and still Bad was selling like crazy. He was in the studio recording it, but it wasn't. It hadn't it dropped. It didn't drop until November of 91. Okay. No, so I get what she was still saying. Still wrong, though. No, I get what she was saying. You it don't, definitely, Angel. I do. You just want her to be right. You don't even care it's what she's about, saying. It's not about a right. MC Hammer himself agreed, and you're still arguing with me. Again, I don't care what he said. <laughs> He, he, the, he, the wasn't, he wasn't even there, okay? He was singing the songs. He wasn't noticing Sing what everybody else was doing. He wasn't noticing what everybody okay, else was doing. Let me ask you a question then. Mm-hmm. When Lil Nas X, Old Town Road was... Uh, the biggest song ever, the period. Biggest song. Do you think he was having a bigger moment than Beyonce? Oh. Was, was Beyonce dropping? Let me think. She, she didn't, didn't drop. Beyonce had anything. She didn't drop she had that nothing, year. Nothing out when Old Town Road. That was last okay. year. And Beyonce was not having no radio okay. by her own point. Okay. <laughs> then he had a bigger moment in that moment. Okay, you really are delusional. You have went against Beyonce to prove Melissa right. I'm not going against Beyonce. Beyonce had to give him. She had to give him the lane for him to even have a moment. Okay. What did Beyonce Hold give on. Lil Nas Hold X? She on. had to take what? a pause <laughs> in order for him to be able to Old Town Road it. You know. 
And I can say the same with Michael. Maybe from Michael being in the studio, it gave Hammer, the MC Hammer, go, Hammer, he's a Hammer, oh, Hammer, that moment, you know? You got to pray just Hammer to make it today. Hammer was popping, though. He was, he had no. The cartoon, I get what she clothes. was saying. Yeah. He had the hair. He had the I pants. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what she was saying. He had a, it, there was a second a where it was like Hammer Mania. It was. It, it was, was like, he was everywhere, on the yes. radio, all that stuff, but also still no. <laughs> And also, you, it's really hard to win nostalgia ar- arguments, especially with how strongly people feel about Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. People don't even hear the full question. Right. Correctly. They don't. People was arguing before they watched the video. They read the catalog. <laughs> ah, no. Heal the world. What about Thriller? We're like, we're we not even talking, talking about, about that. that. We're not talking about that. <laughs> we're just talking about Thriller this day. Like this day when he <laughs> was doing his stuff. That's who people were. People were thinking about him. Probably more often because his music was that's being what she played was to say. more often at that time. So that's the reason why I'm like, I get what she's saying and I know. agree. And Hammer, just take your flowers, okay, guy? I love Hammer. Hammer He's don't right. hurt him. Hammer don't. He was there. I know. I have a couple of friends. Well, not, let me not say a couple. I'm lying in that statement. I am an acquaintance with someone that was one of his background dancers. Really? Yes. Mm. And He uh, had a grip of background dancers, too. Because they would pass out. Really? On stage. For real? Yes. Because you're talking about high cardio. This is Man. a hit workout, but without the interval. <laughs> they, you're they, just going all it's a, the way. It's a two-hour hit. Work. Even his music videos. For three minutes, I'd be like, bro, how did y'all do that? So just think, two and Hammer a half down. hour show, and they are, wh- this is not no, or yeah. it's whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The high the knees. Was, the, the, the typewriter? Da, yes. Da, da, da. So they're doing all they this high They was jumping knees. a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what I'm just, Plyo, their, their the entire. calves must have been defined. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, like people would not be able to like get through the show sometimes. And Dang. so that to just put somebody it's else It's like in. wrestling. They would just tag in. <laughs> yeah. Are they waiting on the side of the stage? Pretty much. For you to <laughs> die? <laughs> he ain't going to make it. <laughs> he didn't have enough juice before the show started. <laughs> when you're tiring out, were they like, okay, let me just limp off to the side? Yeah. Then, then you Like the show, hammer is a showman. So the show wasn't going to stop. Oh, uh, yeah. And you know also, what I'm saying? you are probably drawn to what Hammer is doing. Exactly. He never passed out. Oh, no. He was ready. Like, he He definitely... was a spinning mf Okay. That man was... <laughs> I was watching a music video to, to win my argument. He spun, like, seven times in, yeah. in a minute. He was not Never playing. missed a beat. Never got dizzy. And rapping at the same time. And wearing glasses. Yes. Remember the Hammer glasses was... A whole thing in themselves. As big as, not as big as the pants, but like they definitely were having their own moment. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Did you have hammer pants? No, we didn't have money for things like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, mommy, can I shut up? Ain't nobody getting no hammer pants. The two things I wanted the most as a child, hammer pants and the talk boy. And I didn't get either of them. I don't think you would would have looked great in hammer pants. So I think you did. That was a good call on your mama. Hammer pants are not great for most people. You have to kind of be shaped like MC Hammer. Oh, yeah, I was husky. Husky was a, that was my part of series. Listen, I was husky too. <laughs> so I'm, I'm telling you from experience, there are certain things that just didn't look good on a Hammer thick pants kids. just look like pants. <laughs> <laughs> you got on biker pants? No, these are hammer pants. You don't see the extra material on your hips? Yeah. Oh. But anyway. Yeah. Go ahead. What's a up? very interesting thing happened yesterday, Angel Tanksley. What happened? Angel Lakita Moore takes to the actress. Jeffrey Tubin. Oh, Jeffrey. Suspended by the New Yorker for pulling his peen out mm. during a Zoom conference. Oh. I'm sorry? So, Josh, he's doing a panel. Mm. Hey, guys, we're going to take a break. Still, people come back. His penis is out. He is in full rub and tug on the Zoom. On the Zoom. Middle of the day. Here's my question. Middle of the day. Sir, he said he didn't know his camera was on. Mm-hmm. He didn't know his uh, <laughs> thing. He, he said he thought he muted the camera. Okay, he, first yeah. of all. Okay, <laughs> sir. You, you don't what? mute cameras. What? Second of all, it's a laptop. Close. Nobody sees you now. I think he was whatever he was masturbating he to might have been was on the laptop. Ah. Because he was. they said that it looked like he was looking at another, like, he was looking, like, for instance, if you were to pull up something in your Zoom is in the background, but you're not looking at Got it. it. So he forgot that. He was looking a, at Black Tail while you were sitting. He was. 
Look, I don't understand. Maybe I'm not a, a dude, obviously. So the thought of even masturbating with your eyes open <laughs> just throws me off. <laughs> like, I could not imagine eyes wide open. And then and then the amount of noise. I would have this construction. Go, <laughs> uh, Angel, uh, you're back. <laughs> It'd be so... <laughs> <laughs> so loud. They would Angel be like, is hilarious. Oh, they're doing some rope. No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Y'all was here? <laughs> Woo. No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> is Angel over there praying? Uh, there's no. How do you ask? Like, so is she just, speaking in with tongues? Eyes <laughs> wide open. Like, who? <laughs> That's got to be the weirdest thing. I, I, that's the last. I've never thing I've thought ever. about that. Women could close their eyes and like go into the moment. <laughs> I that I, eyes open too many things will distract me. I'll be like, oh, somebody need to dust that. Like <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> In the game, right. Angel. Oh, there'd be no way. There'd be no <laughs> way. None. I'd be doing bills in my head. Somebody got to dust that. <laughs> somebody got dust Did that. I play that dog on no. Uh, well, never mind. Never turn this thing off. It's no my my thing is like, listen, Jeffrey. They're 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 saying that's it's pulling the tube in now. If pulling you're, excuse a tube me. In. Yeah, what are you doing, man? I was about to jack off. Uh, first of all, two things, Angel. Yeah. One, this is now called a Zoom meeting. No. Okay. Oh, look at you. Because meet. Oh, yes. Second of all, are you that deprived? Of sexual pleasure. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Midday, a, br- a, a break in the conference. I got, I got a five minute in between these two <laughs> zooms. You know, God, sir, no, sir. Now, I mean, that people are bold to be like, I'm going to watch porn in the middle of a meeting. I've heard of people shopping during the middle of a meeting. Now, if they are, I hope they're using honey. These days, it feels like online shopping is the only shopping we really do. That's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one available at checkout. Kev, I hope you use honey. You were just shopping right before we started the episode. I did order 200 things of jelly. By <laughs> <laughs> but luckily I was on Amazon and I know I got the best deal because honey's on my browser. Okay. And you know me, man. I don't really be thinking about the coupons, but it doesn't mean I don't want to save money. And with honey, all I have to do is Click apply coupons. They scour the internet for me. Boom. For you, like your own personal it's assistant like the, for coupons. Yes. Mm-hmm. Boom, Kev, you yeah. should hire a personal assistant. Yeah, yeah. I used to. <laughs> and it's like being at the grocery store. You just boop. And you see that number. That's one of my greatest joys. Watching that <laughs> oh, number. Number go down. Oh, it's the oh. best. And honey is like a virtual thing for that. You know, now pretty much all my shopping's online. We just order groceries right now. It's the easiest thing. Okay, now, so here's how it works. You're going to join honey.com slash SK. SK. Then when you are checking out on one of its over 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Mm. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons for that site. If Honey finds a working code, it applies the best one to your card. Okay, it's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. Absolutely. It's free. It works with whatever browser you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash SK. SK. That's joinhoney.com slash SK. SK. So Tubin apologized to his wife. Okay, I was looking for this other tweet because he had also... He took apparently... it to Twitter? No, he just apologized. Oh, here it is. Here's the other thing about this guy. Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, listen... You saw this? Yes, I did. He got one of his daughter's homegirls pregnant. That was his daughter's homegirl. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I thought it was um, an, it was a, the in the article it didn't draw the connection between the daughter. Oh, and, you know what? The a person tweeted it. What? And the person tweeted that it was his daughter's homegirl, oh. and they linked the article, and I just got you the just article. okay. There we go. Uh huh. Because in the article it was talking about the political pundit that uh, what was a green green. Greenfield. Greenfield. Oh, this. Oh, you know what, Angel? That's two different stories. What? He got a couple of people pregnant. This yeah, man, man, he's n- disgusting, is what it is. Man, he definitely. This, we're was still talking this. about Zoom, Zoom, dude. Yes. yes. So he definitely was beating his meat on purpose. Oh, oh, I, I refuse to believe that was an accident. He was. Some people are like it. Some people just be like. Do you think he he should read the big league? Because maybe he was just trying to sabotage himself. But like he don't need to. I don't think it's big league. He needs to go to jail for um, 
what is it called? Indecent. Indecent exposure. Ooh, yeah, that's what he needs to do. Harass, like virtual sexual harassment. Yes, that's what he needs to do. He needs to big leap his butt into jail. He needs to be, yeah, he needs to be, I, I'm going to kind of be upset, not kind of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be solidly, solidly to mildly upset if he's not, like, let go. I just, he better. I don't think you get the benefit of the doubt for that. This is, we've been Zooming every day. Yes. For, what, seven months? Eight months, I find it hard to believe that you all of a sudden didn't know how the camera worked. Mm -hmm. Especially when this isn't like me trying to remember not to walk in my house with not enough clothes on while my kids are zooming. Like, right. that's like, oh, this is, you decided, I'm going to watch something pornographic. Mm -hmm. I know a meeting's going on. You're going to double check, triple check to yes. make sure that people don't see what you're doing. So to be like, ah. Oh, I thought I muted the screen. First of all, sir, you know that's not actual term. You you know that your mute sound video you have to turn off. He was doing it on purpose. He's a little nasty, especially if he then slept with not only the, his daughter's homegirl, mm -hmm. but then got this other chick who's nineteen years younger than him, pregnant, and now the wife is now having to like interact with the little boy. Man. That he didn't had, and at first he tried not to even. He was doing a. It wasn't me. At first he was trying to pay to have the girl to get an abortion. This dude here, and he said, and then I'll pay for you to get pregnant via a uh, um, frozen sperm. I, well, hold on, he's gonna pay for an abortion and then do IVF. He was like, I not his, oh, like a donor. Else. Like if you want a baby so bad, I will pay for you to have a baby. Just don't have mine. How about you not be nothing wow. up in her? I'm sorry, I can't say that. Um, you, well, you said it like that. Was, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, and now, and so then when he was like, he didn't want to do the DNA test to to for her to be able to prove that it was his baby, which I don't even know why she, regardless. She's and so finally, Finally, he did, and they were like, the court system was like, you're going to have to pay child support. And he was like, nah, player. <laughs> what? Who and then, is this? And then uh, the, her attorneys were like, well, then we'll have your job, your employer, uh, garnish your paychecks. Dude. We're going to get this money. I don't, do you think you can run from child support? This man. Child support is Michael Myers. <laughs> they getting that bread. In the peak Unless of October. A lot of people who are barbers right now, just so they can get paid in cash only and hide so, from that. That uh, is so trash. Oh, uh, when I was in Washington, used to be in the shop all the time. Ninety-eight percent of the barbers in there were in there, so they could uh, literally took up the craft <laughs> of being a barber in this one shop, just so they could avoid child support. This is what I don't get: is that if you're not an insane person, you can get partial custody of your child you can get half custody of your child mm -hmm. as long as you can prove that you're not trash right then you don't have to pay child support people don't want that though you actually have the kid <laughs> they're That's like more expensive than child support you now you need my time yeah you want me to wake up in the middle of the night? I'd be so responsible how, for my actions. Yeah, you peed. So that's how. That's the reason why when people are like, "No, nah, putting him in the system, that ain't right." It, well, if he wasn't trash, then this wouldn't even be a conversation. Yeah, it wouldn't be you because he could literally, as long as he's not an a hole, he can easily contest and get part partial. Like, there's no reason for the court system. I only know this, okay, because of my sister, um, who's a, uh, was an attorney and now a judge. The court system has no reason to keep a child from either of its parents. Yeah. So if if there's a case where the child can experience both parents, the court More system is like, yeah. great, because we don't have to worry about the child being a, um, the government having to take care of the child because it now has two active involved parents. So when they're like, nah, you know, because she wanted full, full uh, custody, you, you don't have to just bow down to that. You could be like, I want custody too, but he's don't really want it. They don't want it. They don't they just want, want it. Be nothing. Yeah. OJ Simpson chimed in. Why? <laughs> Why? The juice is loose. What is he doing? Oh, no, some juice is loose for sure. Jeff this is OJ's thoughts. Damn. Jeffrey Tubin. At least Pee Wee Herman was in an X-rated movie theater. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, two, two things. 
One, OJ is old because he left a part of the video in him, him trying to turn the camera off. And that is old people 101. Old people 101. Not know how to trim the video. They be. Uh huh. Looking number all crazy. Two, <laughs> number two, CNN's uh, Jay Tapper, first to reply to OJ. You know what he said? You murdered your wife and an innocent man in cold blood. No one really needs to hear from you ever. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hold on. You want to talk about our comment section? <laughs> <laughs> wow. OJ got here with the, I know you ain't talking. <laughs> right. You murdered somebody. You that doggone is murderer. A clap back. Yeah. OJ does that doggone. I'm just saying, at the end of all his stupid old videos. He's still shucking and jiving. Oh, that man. He's look still... at the cool. <laughs> he it up. He, he does. always does that. He just be looking. Here, listen, this is another one. Oh, no, no, that's a minute 14. I don't oh, really care about OJ yeah, that much. Just, uh, yeah, why are we still talking about him? Why? I, listen, I need, I know somebody said, I was about to say the same thing, Tigger. I was about to say, OJ still alive? That man ain't gone somewhere. He ain't gone on. <laughs> I know he was you know, in prison, now he out. But I'm like, hey, you ain't COVID didn't get him yet? I would have thought. I would have thought. How many times in my life that's happened where someone be alive, you'd be like, hmm, <laughs> you really? still holding on? Well, good for you. I'd be praying for certain celebrities that I don't see often enough. Like James L. Jones. I'd be like, hold him up, Lord. <laughs> hold him up by his throat. Oh, Father God. Because uh, I really, I was worried when they were talking about doing the Lion King. I was like, but is he? Oh, you can't do it again if he's not there. Is he with the king? That's what I was worried <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Is he... Did you get in trouble in school for what? talking a lot? Mm-mm. Never, really? No. You that never disturbed goody. the class? That was goody two shoes. I acted up. When did you get all these jokes off? Because this is not new. This You've been oh, this Oh, no, way. I've been doing this. Church. Ah, church. Church. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of church, here's an ad. I just want to be as good as you. You stupid. <laughs> you did Whatever. not. Okay, so I'm actually, somebody, uh, Kat, put this in from the Patreon. You are our mother, so I'm actually curious to see what you would say about this. The mother's tweet said, y'all, this little girl DM, DM my mother on Instagram about my 11-year-old brother. What is the world coming to? So this is little Marcus. Mm-hmm. I'm going to change it from her name to your name and your son's name. Oh, my God. Don't okay, so you, you get this in your DMs, Angel, mm. from an 11-year-old. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, Miss Tanksley. How's your day going? I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you, but I just want to tell you that I'm Marcus's girlfriend. Mm-mm. And I wanted to tell you because I want to get to know you and his brother and sister, or his brother and brother, if that's okay with you. Mm-mm. Okay? I'm 11 years old. I'm a Virgo. Mm-mm. I'm on the dance team. Mm-mm. I live in Detroit. By, way, by the way, me and him have been knowing each other for a year and nine months now. I don't know nobody, girl. We met when he came down here to Kentucky. Mm-mm. We was friends at first, and then we ended up just going out. Kev wrote a whole monologue. I just no, this, this is the girl. Is the DM the this girl is Kentucky. The mama. This is the girl. I'm just switching to Kentucky because <laughs> she's from okay. Paducah. Oh. I just want your permission on this relationship, and I can't wait until I meet you in person. Oh, girl, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't wait. Formalities. Your son means a lot to me, and if you allow this relationship, I will see and talk to my mother about this. I want to become a part of his life now. Mm. It's nothing but puppy love. Oh. We can all come together and speak on it. That'll be fine. Oh. Again, my name is Sarah. I'm 11. I dance for the dance team. I live in Detroit. <laughs> Me and Marcus have been knowing each other a year and nine months. Oh, my God. What is your response to 11-year-old girl in your DMs asking for your son, for the approval for your son's love? I didn't even get, I wouldn't have even gotten past like a couple of sentences because I would have been and threw my phone at the wall. At the whole wall. Why, I'm like, Angel? I'm like, okay, this girl is fast. That's what. That's a fast girl. A fast girl is getting permission to be fast. What you doing underneath the stairs at school, honey? Huh? What you been up to? I just, I don't, I need a girl to be just as shy as my son. I don't need no girl that's that <laughs> come forward. I would love to meet you. I'm in your son's life. No, you're not. And you better hope I don't call you out your name because you have frustrated me. Eleven, you know she being respectful, oh, Angel. That is not respectful. You already. You not supposed to look me in my eyes, little girl. That's what that was. That was a look me in the eye. I like your son, Miss Ma'am, and I want to be with him. That's what that was. I can't. Mm-mm. No, I need. They already been knowing each other a year and nine months. She don't Amy. know nothing. <laughs> She'll know my son. And then, and then, a little Marcus would know when that thing would have been sick because he would have heard me screaming. He'd be like, "She saw it." <laughs> <laughs> Get been somebody a- here! 
that the uh, there's been a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ask your mom if I can spend the night. She'll she'll listen. <laughs> like you talk to your mom, Marcus. I'm not. I'm not. No, I, I can tell you right now. <laughs> if you if you want to talk to her, you gonna have to. Talk she, to her. I told you not to DM her. Told you. She Man, can't we're never gonna you talk. As a woman, Barbara. She's this is not Shirley. a woman. She's Shirley. <laughs> I'm coming to you with the woman. I like it, sir. Uh, 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 Big Marcus Tank, he will get a laugh out of it, and he would be like, yeah, she's fast. She's going to be sucking. But long before, by the time she's 14. This woman is respectable. She she's respectable. She's not man. a woman. She, she, knows, she acknowledges that it was puppy love. It's, 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 mature, puppy love. it's maturity. It's maturity. You know? It's a number puppy love. I, mean, puppies I respect her too. more, Angel, because listen, she could have been going around your back, sneaking. She came through the front door. Mm-mm. She said, Miss Tanksley, Mm-mm. now I like your son. Mm-mm. Now you can do this the easy way. Because <laughs> I, yes, I like you. I like. And I want you. And I want them. So you can do this the easy way or the hard way. Mm-mm. You know what's going to be hard for you, Angel? Woo! And you start losing your grip on them little boys. Oh, I already am like, ah! The only way I'm going to like a girl is if my son introduces me to her. If she come up too bold to me, I'm going to be like, you going to have control over my baby's mind. I can't have that. Hilarious. Because that's what that is. Hilarious. You going to be leading this boy all over the place. I need him to introduce you to me. Why is that different? What you mean? Because because why is it different if 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 she's forward, uh, as opposed to him saying, "Hey, mom, you know." Because yeah. if she stays in too much of an assertive place, he'll just become passive, and I don't want no girl <laughs> leading my son. But he sees a strong woman. He gonna be attracted. What if to she leads him to the cross? You don't. I got that down pat. We ain't got to worry about no girl <laughs> doing that. Uh uh-uh. uh. This girl is as respectful as you can be. It's, she Josh didn't. She, an angel over I don't here. want it. She She's did. She did all that she knew she could. I, at eleven, she, she, she gave it a shot. First of all, that's when we was we couldn't even look you in the eye mm, directly. You look that's down when I'm you look at me. That was looking me in the eye energy. <laughs> Getting up, getting Man. up on a, a, a apple box to get to my eye level. No, no. But bow your head and talk to me. <laughs> Can you imagine going to somebody's mo- when we was young? You imagine going to somebody's mom and be like, "Listen, we in what? What grade are you in? Eleventh grade? I mean, eleven years old, sixth, fifth. He's in sixth grade. Sixth grade. Hey, hey, hey. I like your kid. Because there wasn't no DMs. You would have had to do this face to face or via phone. I, there's no girl I like enough to risk that. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine sneaking around. Exactly. That's the way to do it, thinking that you're going to get my permission. Girl, you better sneak. No, I don't. I If my son wants me to like a girl, um, he's going to have to do the soft intro. She he can't come up in my DMs, or Angel, it's not going to be good for her. I think you have it backwards. No, how you're do I have it backwards? Fa- you thinking fast is forward. I think she would have too much respect to be fast. What? That ain't fast. That's res- if How? she was fat. Fast is always sneaky. No. Yes, Angel. N- uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Fast is always sneaky. Yeah. No, if there are there in. are bona fide proud hoes out here. They are not sneaking. They are hoeing in public. That's they, true. they do it at a young age. They do it at a grown age. Same thing with boys. There are boys there out here. There boys are, that are fast too. Like, fast should not just be a term for girls. It is the boys that are. Fa- there are men that are fast that are out I'm here fast. hoeing, I, and well, and boy. I know they're using the blue chew. Now blue chew is something that even fast and especially slow men should use. Any of the yeah, men hey. that are trying to get the action going, get it popping. Okay, because this is the premium gas that you can put in your. Like it's ninety one. Put in your what? Tank. Oh, Premium ooh. gas. Ooh. I didn't hear what you said. I thought you said tank. I was like... <laughs> oh, I don't think that's where that? you use it. I, I've looked at the instructions, and I'm pretty sure it's, it's a something chewable. you put in it's your mouth. It's something you she swallows. Dang it. No, nope, you Something it you up. swallow, so, <laughs> so maybe she, she swallows. Swallow. Yeah, you were trying to get there, but it didn't work. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. That's blue like the color. Okay, blue. You get it. You get it, guys. You get it. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra in Cialis. Um, Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians so that you don't have to go to the doctor's office and wait in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Discreet! It is very discreet. I almost thought that Marcus was ordering CDs. I was like, (laughs) what is this little... (laughs) What is 
have these little things. That's when mine DVD. came in, I was like, you would never know what that is. You would never, ever know. They're made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than the pharmacy. No awkwardness, and you don't have to leave the house. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code RR. RR. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that is B L U E Chew.com. Promo code RR. Oh, no. oh, no. to try it free blue chew is the better cheaper choice and we thank them for sponsoring the podcast and remember when you support our sponsors you make this podcast possible so mm-hmm. please be sure to use our promo code yes. RR at bluechew.com <laughs> now let me tell you if you're using blue chew right you done probably made some kids right if you're using it the way you you know and with children comes memories comes mm-hmm. things that you just want to be able to cherish for the rest of your life well We've got something for you, and it's called Legacy Box. Legacy Box. Legacy. It's a super simple mail-in service to have all your VH tapes, excuse me, your videotapes, mm-hmm. your camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures digitally preserved on a thumb drive, DVD, or the cloud. You want to keep those irreplaceable moments forever. Have them digitally preserved so they stand the test of time and can be passed down for generations to come. I know I am the keeper of all the photos in my family. I bet you are. I mean, I have literally totes full of pictures of other people's kids from far, (laughs) far from back in the day because I love being able to hold on to the stuff. And then I was in, I was a pageant girl. I did talent shows, all these VHS tapes that will wear and tear over time. You ain't gonna be playing. So you got to digitize them. Because you don't have VCRs no more. Who getting a di- who getting you can't a v- even buy them. And mm-hmm. the film is going to be so weak, as soon as you press play, it's going to snap. You ain't going to be able to watch nothing. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to watch a thing. So what type of antiquated media do you send in? What memories do you choose? All these things. You can choose to send stuff. Like I said, if you used to be in pageants, if, you, if your child used to tap dance, send that tape in. Send it in for the baby. Okay, baby pictures. Send it in. Legacy Box is a way for you to easily and affordably digital, digitally preserve your past. The process from start to finish is so easy. You pack and send. Their team digitizes everything by hand you enjoy. Legacy Box is the world's largest digitizer of home v- movies, photos, and has helped over 850,000 families digitally preserve their past. Wow. Products. Everybody get on that Legacy Box. Everybody. So get started future-proofing your memories today so that you can gather the family and begin the trip down memory lane. Go to LegacyBox.com slash RR to get an incredible 40% off 40. your first order. I say a 40, okay? That's like my age. 40, honey. Um, honey. Buy today and take advantage of the exclusive offer. Send in when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash RR and save 40% oh, while no, supplies no. last. Okay, before we move on, Angel, I just want to tell you the funniest line of, of the young lady's um, letter. It is this. <clears throat> we can all come together and speak on it. That'll be fine. This woman been here before. She definitely. We we can all come together and speak on it. That that'd be fine with me. All right, but we gonna listen. I love your son, puppy love. Puppy love. First of all, people in puppy love never acknowledge they're in puppy love. Mm-hmm. This girl is wise beyond her years. If this was the reverse, and this was a young girl hitting my, uh, you know, hitting me up, but also it's different. Mm-hmm. You you're, know, you're my w- Melissa, my mom. Melissa was her arch nemesis. Right. She, right. when I started going to her house all the time, she was like, you little mm-hmm. hussy. Right. She never said it. Right. Verbally, but her eyes. Said everything. Oh, her eyes. She was so mad. What's so good over there? Nothing. We watch the same shows I watch here. Right. But it's her house. Um, anyway, that was just funny to me. Bless that little baby's heart. Okay. I, something really fun. What is fun? I want us... To rank your top five Halloween candies. Yeah, because this ranking is terrible. This is, these are the things that are ranked and they're terrible to me. I agree. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Reese's Miniatures, Twix. This is like uh, the way people rank them. Twix, Kit Kat, Snickers, Reese's Pieces. First of all, three Reese's in top ten is a little much. Mm-hmm. It is Milky Way Reese's stuffed yeah. with pieces. I don't even know what that is. Reese's Peanut Butter M and M's, Butterfinger, Peanut M and M's, Three Musketeer, Starburst, Burst. 100 grand, <laughs> M&M's, Nestle Crunch, Dog Rolo, bust. Milky Way, Simply Caramel, Skittles Original. I can't what are you the most know. excited to get on Halloween? On Halle, Hallelujah Hall- Wing. <laughs> Hallelu- on Hallelujah, hallelujah Wing. On Hallelujah Night or Harvest Festival. 
<laughs> you know all these church terms. You can't have Halloween, but you can have a day that looks just like it called something else. <laughs> I'm gonna come on. We can have this harvest Do festival. A trunk or treat. The same thing. Exact same thing. We're gonna get you candy. You're gonna dress up like people in the Bible. And um, of course, number one, come and throwing them bows uh, is the Snickers bar. What? Doesn't even make my top five. Because you're foolish. <laughs> You are foolish. Snickers? Snickers? Doesn't make my top five. I like Snickers, but it's not my top five. For Halloween. I'll, I'll let you finish. I, I got my own list. Twix. It's coming in there. And Twix. number two. <laughs> because right when you think you're done, you're like, oh, I can eat your twin too? Oh, my yeah. God. This is amazing. <laughs> um, Number three, which is low-key an underdog, but I'm always going to have his back, is that Mickey Ficky Sticky Butterfinger. Wag. Give me that toffee all up in my teeth. Hate you know that toffee be done pulled off the cap off your teeth. <laughs> you like ah oh, man, I'm gonna go back to the dentist. I hate. I am it. here for it, and then I got to come off the chocolates. Then I'm for just the sugary sweets. You gonna give me them Starburst, okay? Mm -hmm. So I can smack on them like a hood rat. <laughs> we gonna how many, how many more doors we doing? <laughs> and if we got a Starburst, then we skittling it up, skittling it up. I mean popping those. I'm ready to go. I'm there. I mean, in uh, honorable mention is um, peanut M and M's. Okay, that's my list. Joshy, Josh Cam. Let's see. Fire it up. Leading off Reese's. I love Reese's any type of season. Big fan. They got the pumpkin Reese's during these times. Ooh, wow. They're not pumpkin really? flavor. They're pumpkin shaped, oh, but they okay. they come kind of melted. Say. It's oh. it's a whole thing. I know what you're talking about now. I thought yeah. you were pumpkin flavored. Okay. Also, curveball. I'm a Baby Ruth fan. I like Baby Ruth. They're uh, good. They're a good time. Disgusting. Really? Really? Can't yes. win them all. Can't please them all. <laughs> um, let's see. What are we at? That's two. I like. I'm also an Eminem, an Eminem guy. Peanut preferred. Also, I do like the almond M and M's though. It's newer. Oh yeah, those are flames. But I'm they're, sure they're good. I'm sure they're good. I haven't had them though. They're they're not bad. They're not bad. Also, I like Starburst and I like Sour Patch. Sour Patch Kids. Mm, sour Patch I've never kids been a Sour Patch girl, but okay. I love Sour Patch Kids. That four? My son is a Sour Patch Kid. That, that's like sugar overload to me. I might as well lot. rip my teeth out because they're of no use. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. What you got? Now the correct list. <laughs> Number one is Twix. Okay. Twix is my favorite candy bar. It's a great candy bar. Mm -hmm. Number two, whatchamacallit. Mm, I really? love. I, it's been a long time since I've had a witch McCallum, but they're good. You're right. Also, have you guys noticed that like gas station candies, they don't sell regular size anymore. They want you to it's have diabetes. Only it's all the big, big ones, right? It's too much. It's they're too like, much come on, diabetes, get them. Like that's way too a, a what you call it or a Snickers this big. Mm -hmm. Like nobody's eating that much. They actually become nasty to me that's when it's I, it, it's mm -hmm. like well, okay, I should have never did this. right. It, yeah. it, the guilt comes in when you go past the regular size of the bar. Right. I don't want everything to share size. Like what is that? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's my own personal vendetta. No, thing. Because I'd be like, I can't throw it away. I do. Not one to throw it away. I got to finish it. But it's past, <laughs> it's past the sweet tooth. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a yeah. diabetic tooth. Okay, number three. What's number three? 100 grand. You talking about delicioso. 100 grand Halloween candy. Not just in general, but around October 31st. Love me 100 grand. Number four, Mr. Good Bar. Ooh. Just, I left your list a long time ago, Kev. Go on ahead, because I ain't a part of this. Go ahead. <laughs> You're losing me at the... At Mr. The... Good Bar is something that I always want on Halloween. I don't be seeing it the rest of the year. It comes out on, on, on Halloween and goes right back in. It's kind of like a nostalgic thing. You're right. It is. It's not It's not that I think they're nasty. It's just I don't ever think about them. Well, I'm not ranking my favorite candies. Right, I'm just right. ranking the ones that I want to eat on Halloween. And they be in the value pack, the variety pack. They own You can't get them. Mm -hmm. yep. Have you ever seen a Mr. Good Bar mm -mm. in full size? Um, no. No, I've only seen the like Halloween. Maybe when I was little, I might have remember seeing them, but I don't think they mass produce big ones. No, I don't, I don't think. I don't they think do. they do. I don't, I don't think, think they, they mass do. produce big ones either. Uh, and number five, man, what you do might I like? just put gr uh, trash on there because that's what you yeah, just put. Just say and then trash. I love to just eat whatever's in there. Here you go, Kev. <laughs> Need this? Probably Reese's Pieces. Okay. I like Reese's Pieces. Not a big fan of Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. Too much dehydrated peanut butter. 
Yeah. I feel that. Way too much dehydrated peanut butter. Great commercials. Mm -hmm. They probably had the best commercials. The colorways. In the land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the peanut butter, the pieces, and the cereal is great. Oh, I don't do the pieces, but I, I do do a Reese's during um, Halloween, as well as Kit Kats. I love Kit, Kit Kats, Kats are well. good. Kit I love Kats a are good Kit Kat. Great theme song, or a jingle, I should say. Yeah, give uh, me a break, give me a break. I mean, we'll never forget it. a piece of that. Kit Kat bar. Uh, give me a break, hallelujah. Give me a break. Come on, Jesus broke his body uh, for us. The, yeah, the, did he did. The potter wants to put your back <laughs> man. Again. When that song came out, the potter you wants talking about? Because it had been back. out. Tremaine had been singing it uh -huh. for a while, but I feel like it had a resurgence. Mm. Uh, what I mean came out. I mean when we started singing it in church. Yeah. You don't have to stay in the shape that I was like. Oh, the bottle won't to put, put you back, back together again. You who are broken. <laughs> da, da, da. Stop by <laughs> the potter's house. Do, 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 do. You who need mending. You need mending now. To put you back together again. Oh, but I won't. <laughs> Angel, I, don't, I don't think you know how much joy it gives me that you know all the songs I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Every yeah. song that I do in that hey, church hey, at Bethlehem hey. Temple Apostolic Church, <laughs> 4121 East Yandale, El Paso, Texas, still there to this day. Hey, Amen. All the songs I know you knew. Yeah. And I be singing them and you be knowing them. I be knowing them. I Josh, know he songs. needs a baby. Josh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, we're putting it in the spirit. I don't know none of, none of these new ones now. You no, throw on a new thing and I'll be like, her. I'm out. Who did it? I, I like a lot of new gospel music, but it ain't it ain't in my bones. It's not. Only reason why I might know some is be from singing praise and worship at my church prior to prior to COVID. Mm. Now I don't know none. No, 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 no. Them song now them uh shoot let me tell you what Josh put me on you want to talk about crying Maverick City Music is like CCM mm -hmm. with a little Lowry's uh, they uh, them got them black kids in there uh -huh. that CCM Chandler Moore uh -huh. when that Chandler come in yeah with the raspiest voice ever that boy his voice. Singing. Cuts through every mm. single song, and no matter who's in there singing, you know when Chandler's up. Angel, Josh put me on. He would be dogging. We'd be setting that setup over there. He'd just be having it going. I'd be like, why am I crying? I can't do little kids singing <laughs> at all. You can't do what? Little kids singing. Like a, a child's voice singing? No, it's not children. He's not, he's not a child. Oh, I was about it's to say. It's not kids, Bob. No, no. It's, uh. They're men. He's men. Oh, okay. He's a man. He's a man. No, I was about to say, kids singing, that makes me cry now. Really? If they singing about the Lord. Oh, it literally makes you like, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> oh, the babies know you, Jesus. I can't do it. <laughs> what was that Mississippi Mass Choir with? Mm. Uh, Come on. Uh, <clears throat> what was that? Oh, uh, man. Mm. What? There's a man, what's her name? This is it. I can't think of this girl's name. Is this it? Yeah. Please. You talking about the slow songs? What is this girl's name? It doesn't matter if they're singing slow, fast. We was little kids out here being adults. Yeah. I I follow her and I cannot think of her name. Anitra. Onitra. She's she doing yeah. SWV. Ever I may go. Oh, <laughs> 
Ooh, yes, the baby yeah. was singing. Yes, she's singing. Truly Come on. Wherever I may go. You know. Come on. Hey. Wherever I may go. Yes. I'm going to get you on this. this uh, truly blessed. There we go. Yeah, give me on a who. This is the little kids. This is a song I never got to leave. You trying to make Angel cry? That I wanted though. She ain't gonna cry on this one. I wanted to leave this so bad. And I usually gotta be in person with the kids. Mm. I'm seeing them. You gotta see them. Inside out, of course. Inside out. Brian yes. Wilson. You ain't no not Jesus. This is the children's. On the inside. Sing, baby. Inside out. We used to be. Yeah, he got. I would just be smiling. You got the little kid up. Smile! Come on. She's <laughs> so sweet. Yeah, I'd be. <laughs> she's so sweet. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Bye, Yeah. Now let one of my kids sing. I don't care. He could be growling. I give it to him. Give it to the Lord. Give it to the Lord. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. I lose it. Okay, we just gonna do that three times. This is the one I was looking for, Angel. This is the one that um is gonna make you cry probably. This wow. is a sweet little baby was singing this. Oh, man. He has such a little voice. Oh! This little is the one voice. I was looking for. You know you brought the six he pound eight foot heart of there. I love it! Oh, 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 Sing, oh, baby! Oh, 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 oh. Sing, baby! They used to be up there looking nervous and then they would kill it. Oh. Do 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 do. I learned that. Turn around. I I no Come on. He sounds way better than Keisha Cole. Oh, I mean literally there. Sing, baby. That's all right, what? Brian. Come on, scoot up to that note. Like right there. You already know he can sing better than most adults mm -hmm. just from that. Come on. Come on. This boy. Is well, different. then walk it down. He's eight years old. Eight years old? I would have died. So where he put that note in his head. Yeah. Here you go. He's going to get off. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's not even trying. No, that is the effortless. Get it, get it, get it. Is that what it gives you? Hit, hop. He put that right here, right behind his nose. <laughs> Oh my gosh! If any of my kids ever sounded like this, Man. I would die. I would literally. Yeah. I would literally die. Okay, this reminds me of this. But before we go on to another one. Okay, go ahead. Let's talk about it's Halloween this month. It and is. Policy Genius would like to mark the occasion by something less scary. 
life insurance. Right now, you can save up to 50% or more by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance. When you're shopping for a policy that could last for more than a decade, those savings really start to add up. First, head to policygenius.com. In minutes, you can work out how much Como coverage minutos. you need and compare quotes from top insurers to find your best price. Policy Genius will compare policies and start as little as one dollar a day, and you might be able to skip the eligibility process of the eligibility of the in-person medical exam. Mm, skipping that? Skipping it do? Skipping it do? Once you apply, <laughs> Policy Genius will handle all the paperwork and red tape because they work for you. They're not an insurance company. Let me tell you something. I've had plenty of insurance companies yeah, be trying to hit me up, and they're like, "Come on, we can find you a great plan and something." And, at the end of the day, they just trying to make money. They, they don't are, care. Man. They don't care if you. This is my life. We talking about. This is my legacy. My children. It's your legacy, it's and they don't blood. care. They all about their commission, and so you want a uh, impartial third party like Policy Genius to help you find what's going to be best for you and your family. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Policy Genius has a five star rating Do on they? yes on Trustpilot and Google. Come on, you need Policy Genius. So. If you need life insurance, head to policygenius.com right now to get started. You can save 50% or more by comparing quotes. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Okay. Sure is, guys. Also, if you're watching live and it's choppy, just refresh. Oh, refresh. Just refresh. Just relax. Okay, here's the song, Angel, that that reminded me of. When, when he got it together, I almost cried. Remember when he got scared? Remember? Yes. And this is after she got him together yeah. and he got his confidence back. Because he he's finna get off. Yes. My Jesus, watch. He washed my sins away. La 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 Now he got it. He told me. Sing, Jamal. He done walked down the thing. Fight and pray. And pray. Fight and pray. And he taught me how to live. And let me join. Get it together. So 90s. Yeah. <laughs> when Jesus Get up there, boy. Watched. Come on. Jesus watched. When Jesus. I know. He the way it will be turned around. Yeah, because that's not a note you used to have and come out of Bonnie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sing it, sing it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, a happy day. That movie With is everything. How many times do you think you've seen that movie? <gasps> it's it, <laughs> ah, ah, endless. Just dreaming of being in there. I could have just been in. Come and join the chorus. I could have been the alto in that. Chorus. When they mm, uh, man. Take off your robes. Take off your robes, guys. Yeah, I what? Mean, I'm so confused. Uh, how are we going to do this? <laughs> but you should have, could have, would have. You remember when Shirley Rose? Mom! Brought... You should have. Oh, that should have, could have, would have. and the competition is out. Uh -huh. <laughs> she oh, was so mean. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those are the type of movies. There are certain movies in my life that only fueled the fire of me wanting to be an entertainer. That was one of them. Really? Life with Mikey. Did you ever see that movie? Mm -mm. Oh my God, it's with, um, my, as I think it's Michael J. Fox. And there's a little black girl at the end who's not who's not even in the movie until the very end. She sings this song called The Lullaby of Broadway. And she sings her face off. And I was just like, one day, mama, one day that's going to be me. All the shows with the kids performing, they just did. Do you remember Kids Incorporated? Did you watch Yes! K-I-K-I-D-Yes! Kids Incorporated. Ah. Oh. 
My mother would have been rich had she known to move us out here at a young age. <laughs> She messed that up for herself. Mama, I know you watching. Had we known, but we didn't know. That's all right. The Lord is working with us. Okay, we have to do two more sister acts. We, we're, we're here. We're First, here. Lauren and Tanya, when they was on the... How many black girls do you know that did this duet? Oh, my God. I was one of them. I know you were. This, this was probably like people's... Uh... Also, Lauren Hill looks like this right now. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Lauren on the piano, by the way. Come on, girl, you can do you it. Can do it. Nah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> this was probably like everybody else's shoom da da do. Oh. The way black girls sang this was like boys singing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Up there. What's the matter, Rita? What's the matter, Rita? Oh, no. Raspy. Oh, no. She had that short hair Man. with the long... Look the, psh. I was in love with Lauren Hill. She was the dopest First, ever. I was like... <laughs> Come on. Lauren Hill had slavery in her She's voice. It was so like there's a story of it's slavery so in her voice. It's beautiful. Because oh, come man. on, come on, come on. This run. This is it. Go! Her voice sounded like a sparrow flying. It is like a butterfly singing. Yes. And then the doggone lady, please don't stop. If you would have been in the back hiding, we could have heard more. Right. She okay. just said, please don't stop. Shut entertain, up. Entertain me. Entertain me. We had, we could have, she could have, you know, see what she did with them two runs? Every two black runs. girl in El Paso, Texas. <laughs> and, and songs that didn't make sense. Right. They were like, I'm going to then. My best friend, Nina, we sang that song. We sang it together before we'd ever like actually sang together uh, and, sing. and she left me she did that she started doing runs and i'm not a runner i don't do all that and so i just stopped singing like oh girl tanya at the piano i was just like you have we supposed to be harmonizing you over here skip that diddly d skip that diddly okay we're gonna finish with this and then we'll get back on topic but we, you know how we get it you so, know how if we you like get. the potty this is the potty this is the and we like to Shirley potty. ralph in the oh you don't win and came sang in this choir competition when i done Come on! Right in Come your face. Come on! God of glory, Lord of I probably have rewound this eight gazillion times. I know the choreography. Sun for me for Take off the no. We're confused. <laughs> I have a shirt on. I wasn't sure, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ourselves, guys. We don't have to wear the robes. We're 90s funky fresh, guys. Funky fresh. <laughs> We're going to be ourselves. We're going to win our way. Away. I was also hot. So when she said that, I was like, perfect opportunity. See, hoodies. <laughs> Come on. Me sing this in Har Harambe Choir. Fill us with the light. Oh, fill us. You know Erica Campbell is in this choir? I saw that they said it on the thing. They come out, backflips, cartwheels. <laughs> this is so 90. <laughs> come on, Frankie. For joy, for love, we are God of glory, Lord of life. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee. Yeah, such a 90s sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Melt the clouds of sin, sin and sadness. Try uh, the dark uh, of doubt away. Drive it away. away. Yeah, they beat them white kids from the Catholic school. <laughs> fill us, fill us with the Come on, Frankie and the white dude. Like yeah. <laughs> Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. And in my heart, I put none before thee. Ever since a youngster, I came to know that you were the only way to go. Yeah. That's why I've come to an understanding. <laughs> you could never get the, the, the time to right. I know. You're down with C. You're down with G-O-D. Yeah. 
Oh, you down with G O P? Yeah, you know me. You down with G O P? Yeah, you know me. You down with G O D? Yeah, you know me. Who down with G O P? Everybody, come and join the chorus, the mighty mighty chorus. With the morning stars wake up, the Get him, Jamal. What have you done for him lately? Dun 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 dun. Ooh yeah. What have you done for him lately? He watches over everything. So we sing joyful, joyful. Go, Rita! Who cares what your mom said? This how she sing it. Hot and full. Because you all were not uniformly <laughs> dressed up. We thought that the we thought it would help us be ourselves. Oh my god, we watched that movie so over and many over. times. Yeah. There, there's like a thing in the uh the um uh in the credits where they're like the dudes are like uh 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 uh, 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 uh. like I've literally learned that you watched the credits? Oh because they were dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Watch it. It's Kobe. the best. Kobe. Hey. And, and Kyla, Kyla Green. Man, this is great. Kobe. Ah, such a good and movie. Kyla I need to watch it. I need to make my kids watch it. I know. I want them to love it like I do. Exactly. You got to make them. How, though? Because they're not growing up in the 90s. You just have to lie to them and say Mario shows up at the end. <laughs> Mario and Luigi show up at the very end. You got to watch it all the way or you won't see it. Oh, I'm over here sweating. That I am, too. That show was... That movie was everything. It was... Everything, especially as for a church person, man, it was great. It was like you made singing church music cool. <laughs> you made it the cool. Representation. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, moving on. A couple more things before we let y'all go. This is an interesting thing. Let's talk about this. This was in the doc of her last time, but we missed it. Willow Smith, she sh- <laughs> <laughs> she say she struggled to do. Willow Smith says she, that was that was three S's in a row. It was a lot. It Willow was a Smith lot. says she and her brother, Jaden, were shunned by the black community for being, quote unquote, weird. Yep. Do you agree? Yep. Hey, you Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't feel bad for it. I don't feel bad. Let me tell you, it was very hard to relate. Relate to Willow and Jaden. Yeah. They were given privileges that other blacks could not understand. Mm-hmm. Because as we walk throughout life just trying to be accepted and taken seriously, they were able to dress up as though it was Halloween every day. They were. It, it, so it's very hard to find commonality with black people who don't seem to have the same type of outlook or not just outlook they are able to move throughout life however they want yeah it was as if excuse me they had a separate reality they did and will and jada i met will smith by the way i don't know if anybody did you no oh, yeah i didn't know MJ that works. get further and further from the time i met him mm-hmm. uh <laughs> as parents there was a lot of there was always a lot. Well, Will and Jada over there, what they doing with them kids? They had right. a children's council, and the kids could do this, and they could decide on this. And, oh, yeah. You know, early in my parenting career, I was more like my mom. Like, you're going to do what I say, do, and that's it. They mm-hmm. would be taking no talk back. But as I grew, I was like, this probably isn't the most effective mm. way to raise adults, mm-hmm. right? Like, you need 
Because a lot of times you, in my opinion, in my experience, it was harder to transition to taking up my own space and respecting my space because I was so used to like, well, if you're grown, you can just say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong. Because when we was little, our parents would be absolutely dead wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's brightest day wrong. Yeah. And you could not be like, but it's... But you wrong. There was no place for that. Mm -hmm. You'd be dead. You would be dead. You would be alive dead right now. Yeah. So when it was time to like, you know, tell my bosses what was what or negotiate for raises, I'm used to, well, if you're in a position of power, you're right. Because you are in a yeah. position of power. Yeah. And that's not what you want your children to do, mm-hmm. right? Because people be wrong. It's actually, in my estimation, it's better to be like, as an adult, like my parents, mom and dad never apologized. I uh, know. I had a conversation. I had to apologize to one of my kids. And I was like, this just doesn't feel right. It feels wrong. Because you wanted your parents to do, you know what I did? My mom would have been like, you know what, Kevin, you were right about that. I'm sorry. I'd be like, all right, now. <laughs> Where's the trick? There's something. I'm about to fall into a ditch somewhere. That's what <laughs> Like, you know, I feel like it would have been a, my grandma. <laughs> my grandma you talking about being terrified of a human being. And the crazy thing, I was talking to her about this. They were so like old, not like decrepit old, but like resolute <laughs> yeah. and serious. Yeah. And then I realized she was like 35. Right? You realize, <laughs> you know how stupid you had to be at 35? stupid at 35 you were 35 and yes. i was terrified of you i'm 37 i've never eclipsed my grandma with strictness no. i was like you were 38 you yeah. was like the way you talked to us it didn't seem like you had, had fun in life you're right i've never seen her smile i never yeah. seen her have joy <laughs> you're like what does that look like on you like, ain't nobody got time for joy yeah. we got bills y'all hungry every day yeah i think i feel like it's a. Uh, me trying to walk the fine line between the two worlds Mm -hmm. because I will say I like how my children behave, Mm -hmm. you know, as compared to uh, a lot of kids that I know of that are, that feel very free to have whatever type of conversation they need to have with their, their parents. There are times where I just don't like those kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't like their behavior and I don't want to be around them. However, at the same time, I don't want to stifle my children's, uh, being able to speak to the point that when they are adults, they don't ever speak up yes. because they give so much deference to who they feel like is deference. in power. Absolutely. Like, I feel like it wasn't until <laughs> I, I moved... Like you just said, deference. That's a good word. It was like the perfect word for what That's you were what saying. It is. That's what it is. I feel like I didn't become a full-grown man-man mm-hmm. until I moved here. Mm. Like, that was when I was like, you know... I was away from my church, you know, you're in my life, in my life, my pastor and first lady took on a parental role and the same respect and deference was yeah. there. And I was like, man, I got to like, my parents moved. So there wasn't no beef there or anything like that. But I was like, <clears throat> it's the first time me and Melissa picked our own church. Mm-hmm. Where do we want to live? Yeah. What part of, t- you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. always like all that other stuff was in relation and then even when I started all deaf, I was like, I, I shouldn't be in this job. I should be doing this. Be quiet, boy. Mm-hmm. But then the, the more confident I got, the the stronger I was. Now I just be like. I we know. Wish a nigga would. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I wish you would say something stupid to me. But go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was about to say, while Big Marcus, while we were raised similar, similarly, there's the difference because he has so many first cousins that were his age that he did not treat like an aunt or uncle. They were treated mm. like first cousins. Mm-hmm. So for him, it didn't necessarily, age did not necessarily mean to him, you are now right or you yeah. now get to talk to me however and I'm not about to come. He's very much so respect is earned regardless you, of the age. You brought up a good point. So my uncles and aunts, we grew up in the same house. Mm-hmm. And in our family, we did not have to call them uncle. Ah, we got to call them by their first name. Oh, I would die. Andy, Marlon, Daniel. Huh? Right. That just sounds disrespectful. I don't even know. I know. And I didn't know that. <laughs> right. So we still were treated with respect and all that stuff. So when I when we went to visit my dad's side of the family in uh in uh Atlanta, and you would call them by their first name. <laughs> you want to talk about culture shock? <laughs> Telling an aunt or uncle, oh hey, pumpkin. What Ooh. did you? Who? Ha! Ha! Oh, kill who, me now. Who? Who? You, who said pumpkin? Me, Kevin. <laughs> they called you pumpkin. First of all, huh. 
That's Aunt Pumpkin to you. Right. <laughs> we had Aunt Teen. Uh, now, her, she was different because Aunt Teen's name was Aunt Teen. Even mm. other adults call, call her, her Aunt Teen. Uh -huh. But you want to talk about the first summer we was in Atlanta? Oh, they, y'all talk white. Oh, yeah. Because we grew up in El Paso around only Mexican kids mm -hmm. in school and only black people in church. In mm -hmm. church, you wouldn't really be able to talk like that. Yeah. But all my black friends also grew up around only Mexican yeah. kids. And in the South, if you didn't have a, a, a country draw, like mm -hmm. you talk like Greg, like what's y'all, yeah, yeah. like you, you want to talk about it. Okay, this is fun. Actually, we've never talked about this. Trying to learn how to say shawty like my cousins oh, in Atlanta. You sound terrible saying I, it now. Angel, I was, I never could get it. If you're not from Atlanta, shawty don't come out. They were oh, like, gosh. They would be like, Kev, say shaw. Hey, shawty. Uh, hey, shawty. Want to go to the Buckheads? Stone Mountain, shawty. 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 That was like going back home to Baltimore, sounding now like we're from Kentucky. They were like, what in the Kentucky Fried Chicken is in your throat? <laughs> In Baltimore got its own accent. You, do she, mother, dog? We got all the things. All the it's things. It's such a strong accent. It's a, so when you don't sound like it, when we got to Kentucky, we start, we started saying things like pop. Uh, so we started sounding. We would say her. Like, it was such a completely different thing. So, yeah, they were like, what is that? Y'all sound white. My sister sounds like a white Southern woman. <laughs> you would not know that she was a black. And then my, my niece... She sounds country. But even that, I have, my oldest niece is six years younger than me. I am Aunt Angel. Your oldest niece is six years younger. Okay. So she's in her 30s. Yes, she's 34. She just turned 34. Okay. I am Aunt Angel. To a 34-year-old woman? I am Aunt Angel. My Uncle Daniel is just Daniel. Nope. Aunt Andy is, I be calling her, hey, Andy. Hey, Marlon. Yeah. My and they were older. Much older. My niece, Victory, she was like, is it weird that I'm like talking when I talk to people about you because we're working together and uh, then I call you on Angel? I was like, nope, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Let's be clear. It's fine. It's absolutely and fine. And you will address me as such. <laughs> we're not switching it up now. There's nope. a 34 year old calling you aunt. Aunt Angel. And my niece she became a mother before me. I'm still Aunt Angel. Really? Mm -hmm. I have uncles and aunts younger than me. I don't have that in my life, but if I did, I'm on Angel. To a younger person, I'm on Angel. <laughs> my real dad has a son who's a year younger than Joe, and Isaiah and him are—they are his nephews. Wow! Wow! <laughs> my brother is ten. <laughs> I should make this <laughs> call him. Uh, Uncle. He's a baby. Uncle Jacoby. <laughs> oh, Uncle. Yeah, no, I just was raised. The titles were so big. Like, my mother, you could be, like, the if she finds out, I'm not sure. I think she might know that you're a minister. You might be Minister Kev from now on. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Yeah, Reverend Kev. Yeah. Don't Reverend? <laughs> yeah, we'll take it back. I had a joke about that. I thought those were extinct, and I met one recently, and they were like, I'm Reverend such and such. I oh, you got to bring those... that joke back. Then you're like, you just gave me three years on this joke. <laughs> right. I was like, I thought those were just extinct, like with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Reverend is a, that's a, hey, Rev. Yes. <laughs> that's I, an older term. You have the you collar only, on? Uh, no, it, it was, it, <laughs> one, it was a woman. And two, I only thought they came up in Tyler Perry movies. I did not realize that they Hilarious. existed again in the real world. That was Reverend Martin Luther King. I thought it kind of, after Martin Luther King, I thought Rev was gone. My mother was a reverend for a little bit because that's what they do. That's what they were doing in Baptist churches, reverend. And then we went over to like the whole like uh, charismatic type church. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I thought everybody's first name was evangelist. I didn't know that that was another title. I was like, how all these people get the same first name, mama? She's like, no, that is <laughs> a different title. It's a different type of ministry. Rev is so Baptist. It's very Baptist. And we grew up Baptist for a little bit. And then my mother heard about this thing called speaking in tongues. And she said, I want some of that. <laughs> Give me, I would like a double dose of Hatashandi Robosi. Can I have can I have two of those? I'll take two. He don't want his portion. I'll take his portion, Angel, please. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you can't order tongues like I hey uh we yes. gonna get the number three Hondi Yeah. 
Super side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You don't want anything? Yeah, I would, could I have a side of quickening with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shikatai? Yes. Yeah, let me get two of the Shikatai. <laughs> yes, that's what I want. That's what it was like. And then she took us to churches where they spoke in tongues. And I was like, what is happening, you mama? One of my weirdest church experiences. Mm. True story. Weird. You know Devontae Dow from Joe Deci? Yeah. Their dad is a pastor. I can believe that. Okay. We'll listen to them sing. Of course. Yeah. Of course. You know the red and yellow ketchup bottles, mm-hmm. okay? Like at the max, say by the bell. <laughs> I already know what you're about We're to say. at this church. <laughs> Devontae and Delph and Death Church. Altar call. Uh-huh. These people going. <laughs> I'm like, man, y'all going in. Like, I'm used to that. Yeah. But they're a little more buck than I ain't seen. Uh-huh. It was hot, yeah. sweating, Ty, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. man, their dad, comes out. Yes. Red and yellow ketchup bottle full of anointing oil. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oil everywhere. Yeah. Squirting people, sweating, people getting anointing oil in their eye. Me and my uh, sister were like, yo, what? It's like a video game. <laughs> happening. You know how much anointing oil comes out if it's in a ketchup bottle? Oh, yeah, I do, because our church used to serve up the oil in a ketchup bottle. Did they really? Yes, that's why I said I already know where you're going with this. Oh. In, in the bottles. <laughs> 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 It's so it's already so greasy. Yeah. You're supposed to flip over no. or put it d- <laughs> cuz that's what the armor bear is supposed to do. They hold a they Here you go, pastor. Come on. <laughs> right on the head. Oh. Now the 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 throwing the oil. Now we didn't have enough budget to be wasting Man, oil. They now. had they, they had that forever my lady money. They somebody had sent it back. <laughs> they had it was like a super soaker of anointing oil. <laughs> I was like, this is insane, guys. And I've left a lot of altar calls with a heavy hand of like... Messing up my there's bangs. There's just no way you yeah. needed that much. You did. Just just one touch. Just, just a little, t- little bitty touch. Just a... The boop. Bible said the touch of him in the garden. They're like, that's no, not a... No, I'm all... <laughs> right. Then they would like... Rub Move it, it all over your face. Mm, I hate when the pastors be wanting you to fall out. They got you in that back bend. And just know I am flexible. So I'll cite you in the spirit. <laughs> To stand up, I will. I'm telling you, I will straight up. This we're doing the limbo now, okay? I will be back like that. <laughs> like, it was, was definitely like a power position. Yeah, you yeah. gonna fall? I, I ain't, ain't though. I ain't. I, I ain't. always got the thing they never expect you to do. This is hot because I when we were coming up. If you fail as a man, the girls didn't respect you. When he, when he failed. Right, because they needed a bad boy. You trying to be yeah. too close to Jesus. I ain't got it. I ain't got time for you. I had two go-to moves to prevent the fall. Okay, One would go you down Holy Ghost and walk back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you hit They hit you, you turn for I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You steps. walk back. You do the chicken, the rooster. They, they can't chase you and catch you. You got, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got the rooster. And the other one is just... So when they put, they try like sometimes somebody have you hit. Yeah, yeah. You know, then you just like you got the fall. <laughs> whoa, uh-huh. whoa, whoa, whoa! But like, you don't. Whoa, whoa! And then you, you don't. keep stepping back. So you can't. You gotta walk. You gotta, but you gotta show them the power. Oh, I got the power, but I'm finna walk back. Mm-hmm. You gotta Never do. Fail. The, I do the crumble. The crumble is when you just. The crumble. Is the, the, the crumble. Ah. Right. Oh. And you stay down here. You just stay. That's stay. good. Stay that's right. smart, Angel. My stomach came up big. I just saw it on the replay. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, it was, a, it was you out. Committed. <laughs> you committed. But yeah, you got to hit the matrix on them sometimes. <laughs> the crumble, gotta, weight in the water. <laughs> matrix on them, yeah. I'm not here for the, you know, and sometimes I don't know what my undergarment situation is. Don't want things to fly up. You know, they used to make us all wear dresses. They used to have, slips is gone. Slips is gone. The slip industry is out of here. And <laughs> when... What's, what's her name? Alicia Man. Cook said that. I holler. My mother's the only one keeping the slip industry going. Your mom still got them. My mother, yeah, she'll wear it under the sun's dress in a second. She's like, the fact y'all don't wear slips is just the most trifling thing. <laughs> Where is she buying slips from still? You, pennies? Uh, Macy's got slips. The, pa- the pennies slips? probably. Yeah. Huh? Uh, the pennies? Pennies for sure. Oh, pennies still got slips. No but Macy's got slips. slips. Because you had to have Walmart. them drapes on underneath it. Leave Ruthie yeah. alone, man. I want to know. <laughs> but my mother's like, that's just nasty. Y'all ain't my wearing slips. My mom was slips and uh, stockings. Yeah. Thick. 
Yeah, I had to wear. I had, used to have to stop. There was a convenience store near our church that I would have to stop at to get stockings because all my stockings would have runs in them. You know, these you used to put the nail polish on to keep yes. the stockings. Yes, Melissa and them used to stop by a gas station. The, the gas stations by the black churches would keep stockings. Yeah, you got you, to. Y'all be buying these? We had to, and I'd be wearing Ricky them coffee wear them. color stockings, Confirmed. make it looking all legs looking all dark because that was the color brown you know they the had. The digging saw your legs straight up. They you they sent to stumble. They already sent it. They are, but you know now I didn't seem full on ankle. I didn't Moisturized see ankle. Uh huh. The power is never on the men to just not be trapped. No, it's they'll... always on the women. You got to no. cover up jean skirts, slips, stockings, no lotion. Ah, uh, and to be on the praise te- uh, the praise dancers, that was even worse. Like what we had to wear because you know they wanted to get like the liturgical stuff from the catalogs, mm-hmm. but then those are like leotards. They're tight. I had a YouTube video about there are sexy praise dancers. They had worn some stuff. You talking about recently? No, a uh, long time ago. A while ago. And this no is my, one of my biggest videos. These girls, have you seen this? I don't know. Possibly. I've seen a lot of this stuff. Yeah. This is six years ago. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. Look at you. No beard, no nothing. Ma'am? We would have Josh. Look at the mothers. She got her whole shoulder. That is definitely a dick. Is they got stuff out of the Oh, they didn't hurt. That's almost percolated. That's almost percolated. Look, there's panties all over the place. Uh, the, the dancer you has heard it? This is why we used to wear slips in the house of the Lord because you don't want to call My grandma would kill everybody on oh, that yeah, thing. No, no, no. We had to wear, <laughs> first of all. kill that girl. We would have to wear pants underneath our underneath the skirts, right? Really? Full blown pants, because you know we're gonna lift our leg, and our things. We would have to wear like the ones that came up here, and if the, you, the uh, turtleneck thing, not turtleneck, but the the long sleeve. Yes, long sleeve. We had to come up here. No clavage was even possible. If you had that, like, no, that's not even showing. The thing I hate more most about liturgical like praise dancers is that half of them can't dance. Really? They can't. Do you, you don't you didn't realize it? That girl was not pointing her toes. She I had know, very little flexibility. She got her leg about that hot. Yeah. <laughs> but only in the church did we be like, this is the gift God is giving you. Well, come on and like sharpen that gift. We would not let nobody up there singing that could not do the riffs and the runs to bring in the but spirit. See, the thing is, you're a dancer, so you know that her toe's supposed to be pointed. We don't know. But y'all you be know what about bad singing. note sounds like. Right. But it but I feel like we should be able to see. We see the difference. If Misty Copeland were to dance right after them, people would be you don't know who she is. No, no, okay. I'm just saying Misty Copeland ain't gonna be up in there. Uh, no, but if she did though, people we would be like, okay, now there's a difference, baby. That's true. There's a huge difference. But we be letting praise dancers get away with just anything. Just anything. This is a thing you've thought about before. It, because I be getting mad. Everybody be into it. Oh yes, the anointing ain't here. But we also be bigging up trash in church. It's just what we do. We do, because we let people mime dance. You don't like mime? No, did you used to mime? Mm-mm. Oh. K&K mime was lit, though. You remember K&K? There was a dude in my church who he literally did. He was a mime boy. He thought he was killing it. And one time, <laughs> this he was done after this. He did. Oh. No. And we were like, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I hate You don't like pray? You don't like mine? I hate it the most. I really? Almost, it's almost to the point that I want to boo when it's happening. And I'm like, they going to think that I'm a hater. But it's terrible. Like, why did we say, you know what the church could use as far as in the arts? Mimes. It's because it's so emotional. Like, but you could do it without the makeup No, on I want face. it to look like dead presidents. That's what it looks like. A scare. It looks like we're watching demons dance. It's like, we ain't never been quiet in the church, and now all of a sudden, let's get the thing that is the quietest and have it do more like, um, yeah, miming. When the spirit comes, and then they do that crackhead shake. (laughs) When the spirit comes. It's like, who said that that's how it's supposed to look? (laughs) It is like he's going through withdrawals. He's going through the bends, and we're watching him go through it. I like that. (laughs) You like you doing the rope. <laughs> Their faces used to be a... right. Oh, that that old face. I can't. It's terrible. You know what? For your next birthday, 
your next birthday. Oh, we're getting I'm a getting, mime. We're getting a whole mime. Get mm-hmm. Kane Cave. They was the leader of the mime school. And they, uh, it's their fault that everybody thought they should do it <laughs> with that white makeup and black lips. Uh, Ugh. Terrible. It was like uh, Cleo getting killed at the end of <laughs> Set It Off. <laughs> they killed her for so long. They did. She took all them bullets, <laughs> right? <laughs> then she turned around. Yeah. She is dead. No. If y'all would just stop shooting for a second. She was like, I tried. She, she mm, could mm, fall. Mm, nah, nah, nah. Why y'all still shoot? She is obvious. You win. No, they're like. Mm. Jada was on the bus like, this is crazy. That was She was a big broad. They were like, she could eat up a couple of these bullets. Hold on. This, you got all the lint from that. Pull- this, this is more reasons why I'm just a, not a pullover girl. This is my head. That's, that's the no. Velcro. That's specifically, Kev. Okay, the Velcro in my body gets it. Oh, somebody love mom dancer, mom dancers. Oh, joy, I'm sorry. Day- it's when Cleo's. This movie gives me anxiety attacks. They was like ch- ch- real. Yeah. Ch- ch- they were getting off all those bullets. It's like it's an hour. It's an hour. It's it was terrible. She is dead. She was so listen. I love black women my whole life. You want to talk about the coolest moment when Cleo knew she was dead, and she lit the cigarette. Yeah. <sighs> zoop zoop. As a matter of fact, they shot her driving. Yeah. They shot her before she got out of the car. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I was like, yes. That thing. Love that movie. It's the saddest goddamn. I will never watch it again. I've seen it a million times. He just likes sadness. No, I was on a summer uh, spring break one time. They had no cable. So we just watched <laughs> Set It Off and Booty Call each <laughs> three, three times a day. Oh, you remember boring summers as a black youth? <laughs> when there was, you would hit that point of there's nothing to do. Like if you went somewhere yes. and you couldn't just go wherever That's you wanted where we to. That's where we were. We were in Memphis. And we could, their mom, like, we was going to visit them, but then we, we couldn't play outside. That was my, visiting my aunt, Hester. So we just watched, set it off in Booty Call, we rotate them over and over and over and over for seven days. Mm. Three times. And literally, that's all we had. That's the only two movies they've had. Oh, my God. Isn't that just terrible? It makes me want to cry just thinking about those boring, boring summers. The boring, <laughs> boring summers. Ah! Oh. Well... It's been a great episode. It has. I've enjoyed you, Angel and Joshi. Same. I've enjoyed both of you and the, and the whole and stage the crew. Yes. Stage crew, Love Hour, will be taping that live after this. Uh, the rest of you will see you uh, next Fri- Wednesday. Patreon oh, yes. will see you well after this. Friday. And also Friday. Yeah. God bless you. Show this Friday. God keep you. Show this Friday. <laughs> Here's another banger for you. Here's another one. Yeah. Here's another banger for you. Here's another one. Here's another banger for you. Here's another banger for you. Here's another banger for you. With my boy Kevin on stage. And that chick angel.